This is the Turnergy 9X 2.4 gigahertz uh, 16 channel programmable radio. Uh, out of the box it comes with a crazy operating system which is really hard to understand. The good thing is you can reflash the uh, firmware with an operating system called OpenTX which is awesome. It's the most powerful software uh, around for programmable radios. Transforms this into a one of the most powerful radios around. It comes with an 8 channel uh, receiver. This is a Turnergy 9X8C V2. But it can also operate, uh, also communicate to, it's the Hobby King 6 channel receiver. And that is a HKTR6A V2. And is a 3 channel version as well, an HKGT2A, 2R, sorry three channel receiver. So these three receivers will operate with the Turnergy 9X with its standard module. There are a few mods I've done to this radio. I have moved the P1 potentiometer onto the side here so that it's easier to operate while you're flying. I've moved the momentary switch from top right to top left um, for use with discus launch gliding in launch mode. And I have uh, Remove the aerial from the top of the radio and attached it, soldered it back onto the module so that now the module is properly removable where it wasn't before. I have also added a backlight so that you can read the screen a bit more easily. I'll just talk a bit about firmware and modules. The firmware is the operating system for the radio. Uh, so think of iOS or Android or Windows or Mac, whatever. That's what we're talking about when I'm talking about OpenTX. OpenTX is the operating system. Now the module determines which frequency the radio operates on. These are all 2.4 gigahertz modules. And it also determines which uh, receivers you can talk to or which receivers it communicates with they all work on uh, different protocols so this one is the uh, Turnergy module works with all these Turnergy and Hobby King receivers this one's an FR Sky module that would only work with FR Sky uh, receivers this module is also a Turnergy one and also works with, on the same protocol as the 9X and works all, with all the Turnergy receivers. Alright, I'll go through some of the functions of the radio. Uh, number one, if the throttle isn't in the zero position or you've got some of your switches turned on, the radio won't give you control until you put the switches all in the upright position or back position and put the throttle down to zero. There we go, now we've got control. Alright, so we'll go through some of the switches at the back here. It'll highlight on the screen here which switch is which too. So the radio calls that the throttle switch. That's the rudder dual rate switch. Now all these switches, these are just names. With, with OpenTX you can use any switch to do anything you want. So these names are not really relevant anymore. On other radios you would have to use them as their specified name tells you. But on OpenTX it's, it's open basically. So that's the, for programming purposes top right back is the throttle switch, there's the rudder switch, there's the elevator switch. Uh, now coming there, this little graphic shows you the stick positions, down here shows you the trim positions. Now the potentiometers, three potentiometers or, or uh, knobs. P1 there, P2 up the top, P3 in the front. Uh, what have we got? This is the aileron switch, this is the gear switch. This is the three position ID switch, ID0, ID1, ID2. And this is the trainer switch, but it shows that it's activated by highlighting the ID0. Now we have a menu button, exit button, uh, plus and minus, and up and down. This plus and minus logically are the wrong way around. I think that should be plus and that should be minus, but that's just the quirkiness of uh, Chinese thinking, I guess. All right, stepping through some of the screens now. Uh, so if we go up and down, we step through four different 
display screens and each of those has a, an, ex, an extra subscreen by going side to side as well. So I'll just describe these. So this is the uh, the switch display screen I suppose which is the knobs are all displayed there sideways and these are all the uh, there's like software switches that you can program in. There's another what's that? Uh, well, 12 software switches you can you can uh, uh, define if you want to. Go down to the next page. So this is a graphical display of the position of each channel. Uh, and this is a 16 channel radio. So there's the first eight channels and sideways push line moves over there. That's the second eight channels. And this is a numerical of that same thing. Uh, actually shows you the values and the second eight. Down again, this is the timer screen. Uh, you can set up a couple of different timers. I have a couple here. This is the absolute timer which just times how long the uh, radio has been turned on for that model and this is the throttle uh, start switch which the timer starts when the throttle is uh, away from the zero position and stops when it's back down on zero. Then there's a few different options for, for throttle duration timing too. Now if we do a long down press we get into some debugging uh, screens which I don't really understand long back press and we get into the radio setup and there's six screens of radio setup you can do uh, you can just specify the uh, battery range <coughs> using different sorts of batteries you can um, specify the, the low and high uh, voltage values uh, you can change the alarm contrast of the screen uh, you can set what value the low voltage alarm goes off, uh, inactivity alarm, 10 minutes, memory low, Ooh, lots of stuff, backlight on, how long it stays on for, uh, that just stays on all the time I think at the moment, channel order, don't worry about that, uh, you can change this radio from mode 1 to mode 2 or whatever which um, changes the operation of the sticks, I like mode 2, that's all for that screen. Next screen is setting up uh, the trainer mode if you want to connect two radios together and, and have a student and instructor sort of situation using this knob to turn it on and off. That's where you set that up. This is the software version. Uh, this is version OpenTXR2940 uh, which is as far as they went with this radio I think. And you can check all your switches this sort of Bit of a, a debugging page, I guess. Uh, don't know what that is, but that's battery calibration page. If you actually measure the voltage of a battery using a multimeter, you can uh, calibrate it within the radio so that the radio is giving the right reading for battery voltage. And this is a calibration screen when you um, flash new firmware, you can recalibrate all the switches and knobs and things uh, so that they work properly. So this radio is a mode 2 radio which means the throttle is on the left up and down, rudder is on the left side to side, aileron is on the right stick side to side, elevator is on the right stick up and down.